going to print some TPU with this GTAC filament. This is not a sponsored video. Everything including the filament was purchased by myself. Make sure now we edit it to change it to TPU. I find bamboo TPU settings works best even though it's generic. TPU 95A color red, not to mix much difference. Bamboo Labs TPU 95A Make sure the A1 Mini is selected. Resync your filament. Select the file that I am going to print in TPU. Which is a case for a metal detector. Don't change anything here. No need to. Everything is standard in these settings. All I have changed, well, I haven't changed, I just selected bamboo filament when it is generic. Slice the plate. One thing very important is to make sure your filament is dry to avoid any stringing and then just sending it to the printer. One thing you must make sure is that your TPU is 100% dry. Any dampness will cause stringing, which we don't want. I will speed the process up so you don't get bored watching it in real time. But I will show the process as it is, as it will be useful for beginners who have never printed in TPU before. Structures frail and rugged, limit towers fragile. 
As you can see on the video, the process is coming along really well with absolutely zero string in. Not even one piece of string in on this print. And that is because I selected bamboo filament setting in the slicer and made sure the filament is 100% dry. As you can clearly see, that is printed 100% successful with zero stringing with GTEC TPU using bamboo's filament settings instead of generic. I find it a lot better and the prints come out a hell of a lot clearer. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Please give a like if you liked the video, or a dislike if you didn't, and please subscribe. And here we have the completed part made with TBU, 100% without any stringing whatsoever. I find using Bamboo's settings for TBU is a lot better than using generic settings, even though it is not Bamboo filament.